Hey guys, so at the moment I'm feeling a little bit raw, so that's why the webcam is mouth. I'm not even changed yet. So uh, I'm probably not gonna show my webcam for this game. What the fuck is the rock capture card doing? So I've had a lot of trouble with this capture card today and it's pissed me off and you can hear that I'm starting. I just, to be honest, I just want to get this game out of the way because I co-own this game with my brother who's basically saying I'm bombing it, so... Shit like that. Just trying to get these games over and done with just so I can go on to other games. I don't mean to hog them. But yeah, we're gonna go through these as quick as possible, any percent. Will take a few hours, but a few hours will spend on a great game. Red gem. We need the red gem for that, so we want to air crash. Go to the secret wall from we can get that. I did say that last night, yeah. See so yeah, you need you need to go to air crash to get that. I went too slow. I shouldn't have stopped. I did it again. I should just continue instead of just stopping. I don't actually have pre um, anything up at the moment, so I don't have chat up, I don't have pre um, I don't even have uh, a laptop. I'm not going to bring up a laptop, I'm just going to play this. I'll use. I'll just get dashboard up and just use a lot from that at the moment. I'm just too tired to run down to do jack shit, to be honest. Sorry guys. You don't tell us when you're ill, you have a cold, you have shit. <laughs> great hole, great hole. I love holes. They're great. They're great me. They're great me. Let's just get this game over and done with. So yeah. I don't want to say that in a way that makes me seem like I don't want to play this game because I do. Which is, of course, with the stuff with Tom. So, smash out this game so that he can play it. Because I was planning to spend yesterday and today on it and then let him go on it all the time and then work and as soon as I let him work I was like yeah can I stream it please and he was like yeah it's fine and then go complains he doesn't put complaints to other people it's like but you don't want me if you didn't want me to stream it last night you could have just said if you don't want me to play it if you wanted to continue playing you could have just said can I continue playing I would have been fine with streaming something else, I'm not streaming at all. So I'm getting my own copy of this because I hate, I'm not, this isn't me being selfish, I hate sharing games because, especially if I'm going to start full time streaming, how am I supposed to stream a game constantly for like two or so playthroughs and not potentially quote unquote hog it?
unless I literally speed run the game. Which is literally impossible at the moment because I can't even fucking do a shitty bonus level. The ice physics on this level are so bad. There's loads of me, but they're quite bad. Also, crouching, why does it take so long to crouch? On the original Crash 2, it didn't need an animation reset just to crouch. Why did that one reset to a normal life? That's supposed to be a life. Oh, you decided to download late. Go for it, you poofy nut. This one doesn't have something back there. I can't, I can't remember half the time. Just got to check either way, really. Okay. Yeah, one of these from Crash One. Yeah, they make an appearance once or twice. Not that I'm there either. But that uh, red gem path has boxes on it, so I don't think we've got the uh, gem here. Yeah, we've missed half the boxes. Thank god this game doesn't have the box count at the end of the level. I've actually played a normal Coco levels, um, a normal Crash 1 levels Coco yet, but those boxes fall on top of Coco instead. Yeah, just skip the animation, I'm not going to pass. Air crash. So this is the one with the secret warp from. And if a perfect run up to a, uh, a death platform makes it appear. I'll show you what it means in a minute. I won't. I'm going to go onto it just to get the red gem, but we're going to have to go up it. Fucking great. Let's get this down to the the time. So, you see that platform in the, I'm not going to go on it now, but you see that platform at the top, right next to this mine, I'll go on to here to show you, but this one here, this platform here, if you go onto it, it will take you to a secret warp room, which, uh, which is Cortex Castle, and if you go into the first level, that's on the level 2, it will take you to the secret gem route for... Snow go to get the red gem. Normally in the original you could glitch your way to a red gem, but it's quite difficult. So you have to practice quite a bit. Even I even I don't get it perfectly. But I have I've done that glitch so many times that I haven't seen the gem room in years. We're not going to go on the skull and crossbow platform either. 
because that gives you a clear gem, which is not needed for 100% uh, for any sun sorry. So I will be collect. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think you can get off this either at the back. Nope. We're gonna have to come back there. Most fine. I'm not. As, as I said, I'm going for any sun at the moment. I'm not bothering about all the gems or the boxes. Fuck you! Uh, let's have to get those boxes. I don't even think you can get out of some of this level. No, you can't. First try, you never get out of some of that crap, I just realised. No matter. Fuck you. No matter what. Even if you have like the perfect run, you can never get all the boxes and all the everything. But yeah, I'm still certain the last of the is. <coughs> I think the most I'll do today is the least I'll do today is another two more things and I'll do them. I'll probably stream for an hour. Even an hour, an hour and a half. Probably not even that, to be honest. Let's just get all levels done, really. Oh, we have to be crashing it. That's broken. Dumb. Damn, we're on for extra speed at the cost of control. So, the fastest route for this one on the original was pressing square and X, so you could do the. So, you press circle and X. I used to do square, but whatever. Okay, I'm deliberately dying occasionally to, because I want to get the box on this guy. Okay, this sounds weird, but if you um, spin jumps closer towards him, it actually would save time. Because his jump is depending on how far he is. Okay, not gonna lie, I struggled. Okay, fuck it, I'll do it later. I'll get those boxes later. Oh, okay, fuck that. I didn't even press circle, so why the fuck was it slippery off slippery? A non slippery platform off like fucking E. It's fucking dumb. And it's the person of all we need at the moment. Maybe some red gem on the gems, just show that later. You see what I mean there? It's like the fastest route of movement. Checkpoint. If I could die here, we are going to get massively penalised. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, we're going to get massively penalised now. It's going to throw us all the way back to about half the throw. Shit. I press circle, so this game's great. I read all the reviews on um, Amazon for it, and all of the com all of the uh, that one spoon. Three star reviews are all about controls. They said, yeah, the graphics are beautiful, it stays true to the original, except for a few changes, which are, most of them are happy to be there. Like Bayer's Coco, for example, and the ability to save any phone. But most of them are about controls, like how bad the controls are. <coughs> wow, that's still you quite far up there, doesn't tell you that. We missed five, uh, six boxes, so fuck it. We'll come back later. I didn't do that.
Let's go take that side. Let's go crash crash. Another bold level by the way guys, so it's great. Sliding can help you avoid dangerous obstacles. Yeah, there's little pillars in this that you can slide on though to make it easier. Yeah, so it's not that one. It's on the one with the polar bear. Where the light is like purple. This route's kind of silly because um, it just takes you straight back to the start. Where the, where the uh, the spike is with the, uh, the dip, but it's good because it gives you boxes. And of course, if you're on a hundred percent run, you need the boxes. Yeah, that's why I hate those mind things. Stop moving. Like, hey, Coco, how's it going? How's life? You're dead now, so I'm kind of shitty. Fucking hell. What the fuck? Fuck my life. The thing is, there's nothing different between her and Crash, so there's no point in playing as Crash instead of Coco. You may as well play as either one. It's just aesthetic differences and different idle animations, which to be honest, I prefer hers. Those are pretty cool. Also, they these mines they hinder you so much in this first compared to the other one. The other one I thought they screwed you over. This one they dick you. Crystal, you know where it is because of how light the glow is. Oh, yeah, we're just out to that high now. The thing is, every time I wait for the perfect screen or the uh, great, but you missed this amount of boxes. Oh, her laptop just turned into a gem. What? I can't wait to see what the eel deal looks like, to be honest. A special gem hides behind something fake, yet I know what you're talking about. 
I know what you're talking about. So this level does something sneaky that's only happened in one crash games at the point at the moment. It's uh what the fuck was that? Oh you with the uh turbines you can genuinely spin them. And they're still an item that's kind of weird and broken. They can be utilized in ways. Oh yeah, you can't spin them, can you? They're like robotic death rats. So fucking creepy though. Wouldn't mind if the, the uh, green in the water was a bit more apparent. So this is the room with something fake in it. See, all these nitros blow up, but that wall is not real. This is the green gem root. So if you take the root in this room, you get greeted with one of the nicest looking gems in this game, to be honest. So we've got the blue one, we would have got the red gem if the, if the uh, red gem glitch was there. Now we're just going to die. So we've got the green gem. Kill me heal. It's the eel deal dude. Eel deal. Eel deal 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 Now we can go back that way to get the bomb box from here. Other than that, we've got everything we need so far. Yeah, I'm probably not going to stream the remake of Crash 3 for a little while. Probably like tomorrow, tomorrow after college actually I could do it. So it's not a long way, it's just a day. So I did Crash 1 on Friday and yesterday. And of course I started Crash 2. I need to go right at, uh, left at the turn so I can get the crystal. I almost forgot that. Also, if you sit in the perfect space in, in here, you can get all four, which is pretty cool. We're just going to do this boss, and then ne the next walk room. That will probably take us uh, to one hour to the one hour mark, so then that's where I'll finish. Don't. And then I'll call, I'll call that a stream for today. If I want to stream something else later, I'll just let you guys know on Twitter. And I haven't put a um a thing up on Twitter saying that I'm live just because I'm, this is literally just a casual stream. I'm not going to be doing much. Literally, it's only an hour, so and the retweets keep going after the hour, so I don't really want to. Retweet people come into the stream and be like, "Hey, I'll find now," or "Oh, he's just going." So, but but it's just been retweeted that he's live now. It's like, oh. Also, dead air shell. I should really say that because she's fucking like twelve in this. She's not like a fucking teenager yet. A booga 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 booga. What I might actually do is make my uh Get an, get expert back, and I'm gonna start streaming uh, to YouTube 
uh, all of my um, Call of Duty streams. Every time I stream Call of Duty, it's on. Oh yeah, we have to go. I keep forgetting that it's, it's actually so important now. God damn it! I want to be Coco. She's even pissed off at that. She's like, hmm. Direct attacks on her. So the way this one works is cycle based, which which is pretty cool. So like, uh, kind of like the uh, Crash One, the uh, Ripper of Crash Two. So these guys will uh, what? One of them will be in the center, one of them will be spinning around like this. The one spinning around will stop spinning and he will have butterflies or a spit or a flash of the original. This guy will now throw swords in a direct area, so it's kind of based on where I stand. And he'll do they will do this three times until until they, they're done. Basically you spin this one into his brother. And then of course where you where you're standing is roughly where where I'll end if you move a little bit to the right. So quite a bit to the right, sorry. On the first one it's it's once it's not that much. So the third one they will throw swords at you and he'll start having to go to his brother and then you beat them already. But only taking you one hit. Komodo Nomo. So we can do well that took us half an hour, we can do probably one more. We could probably do one more of them. And this is the sewer of them, which I is probably my favourite. The first one's my second favourite. But this one's one of the first. The reason why this one's my probably one of my favourites is because uh, of the levels in it, like all the levels are pretty cool. So we've got the sewer water room, which actually looks beautiful. It's got plant food, which is another um, water ski level. Sewer later, another sewer level. Bear down, which is the one with the hidden uh, root in it, I think. And it's also got the uh, uh, it's another bear level. Uh, Road to ruin, my favourite level of this game. And I, oh, unbearable is the one with the hidden root. And the boss of this, I think, is tiny. Yeah, tiny. So we're gonna go to plant food. Okay, got another cutscene. Okay, we're gonna go back and we're gonna go into part two. We're gonna do each of the levels on this. We're gonna do tiny. And then we're just gonna stop stream because I'm not feeling well today. My nose is down to polish tomorrow for us. <laughs> what must we do? Great memes. <laughs> Great memes. I fucking suck at basic platforming. Well, this game's got very kind of unresponsive control to be honest. All of the if you go onto like Amazon like, all of the reviews are on controls. Crash free apparently has the worst when it comes to the bike levels. And they said that Co uh, Coco's vehicle levels were boring in Crash Free. They always have been that's the only criticism I I have against Crash Free is how boring her levels are. The bike levels, they're fun. They show like a badass side of Crash, which is pretty cool, but it's not really seen much of. But still, like, her levels on that are just horrible to play through. The skiing, I never liked. I never liked the skiing, I thought they were too open for a linear platformer. I'm not meaning linear in a bad way, for you ask, by the way. Because I've always loved, I love linear platformers, like. Mario and Crash. 
and the old, like the old Mario and Sonic games. But I also like games like Crash to Insanity, uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, all these kind of games that bring platforming to a free roaming world. Great games. GG. I always struggle to not get hit by one of them, so I'm not surprised. Uh, here is a route for boxes, so if you go up here, there is two boxes up here which you can't get unless you go this route. Then you can go back and then jump or ski or glitch, glitch onto one of them, one of the Coco ones really. That's where a plant spawns. It's almost impossible to not get hit by that current. We've got all the boxes there. We didn't beat the timer, I don't think, because we also went onto the um, platform for the um, bonus platform, which removes the timer. But that's fine, I'll go back to that later. We've got uh, four more levels to go anyway to stream, so great news. Road to Ruin will take me a few tries anyway. Yeah, it's a yellow gem you get sooner or later. I like all these like memes, like memes, uh, puns that they use with the levels. Like, sooner or later, sooner or later, the eel deal, the real deal. Hang eight, hang nine, hang ten. Sorry, I can't even get the uh, the pun or the joke for that. Great news. So these guys are bitches. So they will shoot flames, and then they will look up, and then they will like reload. Their screams are fucking demonic though. <laughs> like ah, like they just got fucking destroyed. Oh wait, they fucking did. I missed the platform by like an um, inch. This the water is so is so makes crashing cocoa go so slow. It wasn't that slow in the original, I promise you that though. God damn it. Don't know how the barrel explodes upon the impact though. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't happen to me. Why could this happen to me? And stun the fucking nitro. Great job, mate. Why could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. I fucking did it again. So I'm just gonna fucking walk past those boxes, not get the fucking gel on this try because they fucking suck. Why do they look like uh, canine from uh, from Jimmy Neutron? They have the eyes. They have his eyes. Okay, let's not get shot for now. I love that she's got motion. Fucking hell, I didn't do that. I landed on the platform. Go fuck yourself. She's got like a bit of like fade when she slides. God damn you. That side was bad. Gotta go fast. So you've got to have the yellow gem there to go down there. 
but and of course you know like a yellow Gemini always just starting that barrel that would not have been a good idea. One more circle, yeah, there you go. Got hit by the fucking rat. Fuck those rats, they home, if they home onto you half the time, it's so fucking annoying. They either home or they have a set path. <coughs> So like those ones surrounding the bonus level were on a set path, but you've also got a few that just hold one to you, like bastards. Fuck, the jump is so bad. If you tap jump to the right and you fly over. No, I did I I was gonna show on the webcam but the webcam's not even a fucking active. Great memes. But I tapped I tapped fuck now. I tapped to the right, to the left and he she flew over me. Over the uh, nitro and landed into it. Polish your controls up a bit before you uh, release your game, dude. Because I'm sorry, but I'm not waiting two seconds just to do a high jump. Video. I missed six. Oh, the night drives. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get them later. It's a close, you can't destroy the night drives. So, this bit may be laugh the original. So, um, I used to run through this game casually quite frequently. And I used to try to uh, beat, my beat my normal time, like not speed running time. And uh, I used to be able to jump through these without getting hit every single time without fail. And uh, Thomas would be like, the fuck, every single time I've done that he got hit. And he was just like so freaking infuriated. He got so like goddamn infuriated and I was just like, well I'm just good at the game, the original game and Let's go, let's see what you do, let's see what you do, okay, I'm real good. Pardon me, sorry guys, I'm tired. I'm tired, but it all just gets inside. Just God's place, is a way of saying, go fuck yourself, you fucking coin. Okay, there's the end of the level, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back, back, back in a bit. We got shot, but we can take out this guy now. We go right this way. Wait for the spewy spew of guys to spewy stop spewing spewing. Jump okay. Great means. We might want to get that. I don't I don't I don't know about you, but we might want a crystal. I've never seen what's happened if you run through a level casually without getting the crystal. Like you've run through it, missed the crystal, and then you've beat gone to the end. And you've gone up the level. I've got. I don't know where I've exited the level, but I've never actually gotten into the level, gone out without getting the, the gem or the crystal or just the gem. Because the, the storyline is all about uh, crystals. But Embryo wants you to get, uh, he wants you to get gems, so he's like, yeah, if you, if you're going after the crystals, then I'm going to have to stop you, basically.
Clara said, hey look, she's right here, why don't you fucking tell her herself, you bitch. Okay, so this is another better one, so we have to bit players crash anyway, so. Tap run before I jump for greater distance. So it's, it's showing the speed run straight, so I'm holding it. So you can hold circle uh, to run faster, or you can tap it, tap jump for greater distance. So this one's got two ledges, just skip both ledges. You know what I mean? A bit weird, you know, I missed one. That's gonna be like the only okay. I didn't mean to do that. It's gonna be like the only box I miss in this game. Or in this uh, level anyway. So say I've missed like five gems by now. I know I suck guys, but I'm trying, cut me a little bit slack. I got twenty six five, so that's something. Jumping is a little bit off with this as well. I know that's all I'm saying, jumping off, but it, it really is. That was for normal blocks in the original, not fuck you, fuck you, you did that deliberately. It's uh, for normal blocks and that's for ice blocks. You fucking mad man. Picking up ice with your bare hands, you crazy mofos. I missed the box. That's gonna be the only box we miss in this entire level. No, two, three. We missed three boxes so far. But we've got a checkpoint, so we can't even go back in. It's fine. This level's also got a secret. Which, as well, again, I'm not gonna go to. Just because we're just running through the level. So that's quite missed the checkpoints, so that's great. That was close. Okay, we missed a bunch of boxes. Doing good on lives though. I need to earn 99 lives in each crash game, which is going to be fun. Yeah, so with this level, if you go back on those panels, you can go to like the center and get. You get like a secret or this four boxes, okay. You can get like a secret warp room. This is the Cortex one again. To her, and this is a great level. The design of it's so well that well thought out. Normally, what people do is you need um uh you need the clear gem, I think, to go to the left here. So you normally need the clear gem, um, the that box to clear, so you can get across there. On the original, you could get across there without that, using what I just did. But of course, that's going to be unsuccessful. We're going to go through the level normally. And we actually found out ourselves. Of course, people through speedruns probably did that through strats, but we, but well, we being my family, we found it out like ourselves. We were playing the game casually, and one of us was like, I wonder if you can make it over there, like, it seems like they're able to, I'm not going to go on there either. It's just a clear gem we get from that one side, no point. As I said, I'm 100% of this later. Later. This is all boxes, so, no need to be afraid of. There's one later on, I think, in Ruination. That is all nitros instead. On oh, what can fall.
I'm thinking that um that row at the beginning is what requires the uh the uh skull and crossbones. God damn it, I missed it by an inch. It's alright, Scott, so we're gonna spawn next row anyway, so it's good. I think there's a few lives in this one as well, so I'm good. God damn it, I thought I could slide over that. I try to wait for him to stop. Shit, I completely forgot where they, where they were. So I can stop freezing them. What? Where did it hit me there? We missed the lunch boxes, so now we're not going to get the uh, gem. I mainly I'm just doing the bonus levels to get lives. But I will literally be grinding out a few levels in Crash 1, 2, and 3 to get 99 lives. I wish there was a way, like, on. Mario to get them. Okay, we've got one more level to go. And then we can uh, do this. So the reason why we're changing to crash in this one because uh, when you there you go, the giant bear opens a secret passage, which we will be going down in this from. This just takes you back up to the beginning of that area so this one the reason why we're going to be crash is because um you ride a bear at the end so look how cute that bear is it's demonic in every single fucking way kind of looks like the whale that chases you in one of the fan games but it looks pretty cool could kind of do a better animation on that to be honest on the uh Boards that these boards that break. Just falls asleep. It looks like it just falls asleep. Doesn't even look like it does a bunch of a challenge. Three, two, one. Power blast. Power blast. Power boost. That helps. Not really, but a little bit. You can hit multiple of them at the same time, and it's really not good. So it's this one that he falls down because you notice that that it's got three blocks here, so you can jump down it. It sounds like you're about to die, but you've actually got this this area, which is the area I'm actually going to be grinding lives for, because I think in this version, hopefully they didn't, they didn't patch it, but in the original you could there was a glitch in this area where one of the boxes wouldn't if you were to get a box and you got the life in it the next time you hit that box would be a bunch of wimp fruit instead this level didn't have that kind of thing programmed into one of its boxes so instead instead what you could do is get the two lives from this room 
from this uh, secret area, die, lose one life, and then get the two again. So it's two for the price of one, really. Two for the price of one. Bang, bang. Why are you gonna be so rude? Don't you know I'm cute? I'm Bandicoot too. Why you gotta be a poo? So it seems like they've actually um, changed it to a wumper, to a uh, to a mask, to a mask or two, which is kind of annoying, but it means we can't grind, grind it there. We can't grab it there. To get onto that bit, you've got to go up here. Blah, 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 blah. And here's that exclamation mark block for the later bit. For this bit with the jump box that was invisible. Fuck my life and everything it stands for. Great mamaze. Great mamaze. I love how it looks like we're like under we're, we're underground in these bonus levels. Like it's like it's pretty cool, my, my opinion. I'm gonna go through crash one, two, and and three, four boxes. This one not too bad. Three a little bit of struggle, but crash one, Jesus Christ. Once again, we get that light right through the uh, this box here. So, bang, forty. In the original, they didn't actually block the light trays; they just made them disappear and added them to the box. Out. I was looking at the other way, so I didn't know what side was doing. Like that one kind of tried to kill you. That basically. So, so did my my life. My life tried to kill me. So. Fuck me. Didn't even touch it. See that? See that shit? It's monkey head boxes, I'm gonna lie, so I'm gonna take it. Just fix your goddamn hitboxes, bro. That's all that's that's all I got to say. Also, I kind of wish he doesn't go straight onto his, onto his uh, wow, I sound under that, that was weird. So here's the one with the polar bear, which is probably the hardest one of them all on this, because it's not, fuck's sake, it's not that easy to control because you're, you're, op you're on the opposite way, way around. You can also go back up there for another hidden gem. We missed two boxes. Uh, you, for another secret walkthrough, you can go back to that ledge where the um, where we got the pedal there threw me off. Okay, so we're gonna do this final this fight with Tiny, which is literally all um, so it's cycle based again. It's all RNG. So we, we did kind of fuck up that. Uh, Okay, we're gonna save it here, then we're gonna go to uh, Tiny, and then we're gonna do Tiny. Oh, I love the So we've got Tiny Tiger. How we do this 
is that so he doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. There you go, there's your hint. So how we do this is so he will destroy this. Which is okay. Then you've got we've got all these panels that these flying panels. The ones that turn orange or whatever colour are the ones we don't want to stand on, but we want him to stand on like that. So he falls and loses a life. We want to stand on the green ones for as long as we can. We want to get him to run around as much as jump around as much as possible, so we can perhaps trick him into jumping onto one of them. However, oh, that's going to be difficult with that section. That is a perfect trick. I don't know why he did that himself, but he did. I'm not going to complain. Crash Three is probably one of my favourite tiny boss of all time. This one's good. It's just more the blind. Mad goal, perfect, beautiful. God damn me. Son of a biscuit. And then once he once he loses his last life, all of them go except for one. You've got to make it to that. Otherwise you die. Uh, tiny tricks, he fell down. He died. He, 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 he's knocked down now. Also, you see the little minions in the back. That's pretty cool. So now we're on walkthrough 4. I'll, I'll peek into Warp from 4 to show you what I'm like, and then we'll continue that next stream, which will be tomorrow. Because, I mean, we're not going to be in college tomorrow. I've got an early, I've got an early, early, um, finish, so that's good. Like I said, there we go. It's not very good. But, but I'm, shh, that was, oh, wow, wow. So we're hanging out. So I think it's a sewer level. Digging it. Which is a forest kind of level. I don't really know what's called that. Ice level. Uh, another ruin level like that uh, right here. And behaving. Behaving. Be like digging it, basically. This is one of my favourite war rooms. And the boss on this is Engine, one of the best bosses on this game because he utilizes something completely different that no other boss has. Kinda like uh, uh, the crack, the, uh, Cortex boss there, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, I'm sorry it's a bit of a short one, but of course, I'm pretty ill as you can hear, but thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys later.